In the wake of tragedy, celebrities everywhere are making the choice to reach out and help victims by encouraging them and showing their support through hospital visits and benefit concerts. Silver Linings Playbook star Bradley Cooper and wide receiver for the New England Patriots Julian Edelman visited Jeff Bauman the same week of the Boston Marathon bombings. Bauman lost both of his legs in the attack that killed three and injured hundreds. Cooper and Edelman aren't the first to visit victims of tragedy. Batman star Christian Bale visited victims of the Aurora Theater shooting that took place in Colorado in late July. Victims are more than appreciative of the time that celebrities take out of their busy lives to come by and visit them. I think that celebrities realize how much power they have and how much influence they have within a society and they want to give back because they can only give so much money and then you know it doesn't it's not worth anything anymore to people because they just do that. So I think the one thing that they they perceive themselves to have to give is their time. Hospital visits from celebrities aren't the only way they are showing their support for victims of tragedy. Benefit concerts have also been a way for celebrities to give back to victims during this time. In August of 1971, Beatles guitarist George Harrison and Indian musician Ravi Shankar organized the first benefit concert, the Concert for Bangladesh, to raise money for war relief. I think that people love music. Music has always been something that brings people together. And I think that when celebrities are saying, and musicians in particular are saying, we're doing what we love and we're doing it for a cause. You don't feel so bad about spending $75 or $120 on a ticket because you know where the money's going. Since then, celebrities like George Clooney and Paul McCartney have come together to create benefit concerts like Hope for Haiti and the Concert for New York City to raise money for victims of tragedy. I can see you, hey, love.